It's been a good afternoon for the Bucks. They've defeated Kettering Town 3-1 in Vanarama National League North this afternoon and I have manager Gavin Cowan with me. Um, Gavin, just said a good response to last week's defeat by Darlington. Yeah, must be happy with that. Yeah, I thought it was an excellent performance from the players and they just, you know, I asked them to go and show what they're capable of and they did that. You know, we uh, switched things up a little bit and uh, yeah, just created a bit more excitement in the camp and credit to the lads, they went out and put in a great performance and, and the performance hasn't been totally the, the wrong thing this season, you know, we've, we've got that right for most of the time, but it's just been clinical and ruthless and uh, we were that today. And you're happy with the effort pretty much all throughout the game there, there was no, didn't really drop off at any points? No, I think, you know, when, when you go 3-0 up, I think it's, you know, you've got, to, you've got to be a specific mentality and I was lucky to play with some players that were never happy with a 3-0 and as a defender I was never happy in this. I got to 95 minutes and made sure there was no goals conceded. So, yeah, it's just, it's a, it's a tough place to be. So, um, no, I thought they managed the game really well and when I thought their goal was excellent. I'm not sure we could have done much about it. And, um, but the resilience from that was, was something, probably my favourite thing today, the resilience from when they got there. Their consolation goal was uh, was really good to see, sure. and entertaining as well. You know, and good for a, you know a good size crowd. Well, I thought in. we were really attacking. You know, I thought we were uh, really on the front foot from the from the get go. Um, and like you say, brilliant brilliant crowd here today. People obviously coming to want to take in a local game, and we urge them to continue to do that. You know, that's how this club can can kick on and move forward. You know, by people coming to support us, and uh, you know, we had a great great group in the corner there. The young young lads all wanting to get involved and they did it in the right way so credit to them so you know that's that's for the supporters that come every week and you know really get behind their team it was uh, really that was from the players to them sure I was about to say a couple of new faces one new face is not so new in Ryan Sears but a, but a new face in Jack Store what's the, the thinking behind bringing him in yeah well Jack just become available he become a free agent and um, you know I've known about him since pre-season when I, I tried to get him in but couldn't and he um yeah, he's become available and he's, he was in Birmingham City's first team at 19 and he's just lost his way somewhat and he's going to need someone to give him some guidance and I'm, I think that's, that's part of my skill set. So, you know, I'll look to try and help him and, and get, some, uh, get some games into him if he uh, works hard and, and, and can impress enough. Sure. And Ryan Sears, you, you know about because obviously he was here last season and nice way to mark his return with the goal. Yeah, absolutely. It was his performance really. It's a bonus that he gets a goal but his defensive performance was excellent and he... Um, you know, he's, he's, I think he's very much still in Shrewsbury Town's plans, but we've got a good relationship with them off the field, and you know, thanks thanks to them really because they've been able to help us with Ryan. You know, they've really accommodated us, and um, you know, we're really thankful for that. And you know, they helped us with uh, Ryan Barnett as well. So you know, we've got two very good players that you know I'm sure are in their plans, but need to get experience and games under their belt. So we can oblige with that. Um, so it's, you know, it's a good uh, it's a good relationship between the two clubs. So you know, I suppose we uh, we need we need to. Um, we need to be thankful for that because it's, it's really helped out certainly today. Sure. Um, obviously, we're not entirely sure what the, the future holds in terms of when games will be played, etc. But it's nice to put a smile on people's faces today. Yeah, I think so. I think, you know, there's a lot of, uh, I suppose, scaremongering going on, in my opinion, and there's a, there's a lot of, uh, you know, rash decisions being made. I think everybody just needs to control the controllables and. Ultimately, like you say, 90 minutes today, 95 minutes took people's minds off what's going on in the media and, you know, you just ask people just to take the precautions that they need to take but not, not to go silly with it, you know. Ultimately, we've got to carry on living our lives and, you know, you do the best you can. So, you know, I was really glad that the game got played today and I'm really glad that the, the people that turned up got, got a really good showing from us and three points on the board. OK, that's great, Gavin. Thanks for your time. Cheers. Cheers, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>